Our coverage for the Galaxy S6 and HTC One M9 is sponsored by CellCashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you a quick quote and the most cash for your iPhone. What's up guys and welcome to another ultimate camera comparison video. This time we are facing off the Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge against the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. But before we jump into the samples, let's take a quick look at their specs. So the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge both have the same exact camera which is a 16 megapixel rear facing camera with an aperture of 1.9 that can shoot up to 4K resolution at 30 FPS. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus also have the same camera with an 8 megapixel rear facing camera and an aperture of 2.2 that can shoot up to only 1080p at 60fps. Both phones feature optical image stabilization except the iPhone 6 which only has digital. Surprisingly the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge don't have digital image stabilization whereas both the iPhones do. Now for slow motion, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus can shoot up to 240 frames per second and 720p, whereas the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge can only shoot up to 120 fps in the same resolution. For front facing cameras, the Galaxy S6 and Edge both have a 5 megapixel camera that can shoot in 1440p at 30 fps, whereas the 1.2 megapixel camera on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus can only shoot in 720p at 30 fps. So that's it for all the specs, since both the Galaxy phones have the same camera and both the iPhones have the same camera, I'm going to be using the S6 and the 6 Plus to perform the camera test. So without wasting any more time, let's check out the samples. When it comes to focusing, the Galaxy S6 does a fantastic job, no problems whatsoever trying to focus the object and the speed is insanely fast, most definitely faster than the iPhone 6. Samsung has definitely improved this feature from their last year's model. 
The iPhone 6 Plus on the other hand focuses really well, I actually have no complaints here, although it's not as fast as the S6 is, that's for sure. For daylight video, the Galaxy S6 takes some stunning footage in 4K resolution. It has great color reproduction and just overall the video is a lot more vivid. The iPhone 6 footage seems way too washed out compared to the Galaxy S6 and you can especially tell by looking at the sky. There's definitely no competition here and I'm gonna give the point to Galaxy S6 for daylight video. Moving to low light video, it's a different story. The iPhone 6 Plus's footage is a lot more sharp, even though it's a bit darker than the Galaxy S6, at least it doesn't have as much noise and this white fog over the video. You can actually read the sign that says Northwest Business Park, so I'll have to give the point to the 6 Plus for low light video. What is up you guys and welcome to the stabilization test and the microphone test between both of the phones that you see on the screen. And also make sure you guys check out the audio icon uh, somewhere on the screen and it will basically tell you which phone's microphone is being used. All the phones are strapped onto one device to ensure a accurate stabilization reading. Also all the phones are being shot in 1080p to ensure optical image stabilization is enabled if the phone does have optical image stabilization. For stabilization and microphone quality, the S6 easily takes the point. You can clearly see how smooth the video is on the Galaxy S6 compared to the iPhone 6. As well as the audio being produced from the microphone, it's just that much louder and clear. For daylight pics, the Galaxy S6 produces stunning pictures as well. The 16 megapixel camera definitely makes a difference as the images look more sharper and detailed. The iPhone 6 also does a great job, but I think the S6 definitely has the edge. Not only is there more contrast, but the colors are more truer to life. The Galaxy S6's dynamic range is also superior. I mean, everything is crystal clear in this shot on the S6. Even the front-facing camera is a lot better than the iPhone 6's. You just can't compete with 5 megapixels. The Galaxy S6 definitely takes the point for daylight pictures. Moving indoors and away from the sun, I think both phones are pretty much equal here. The 6 Plus seems to have better whites while maintaining great color reproduction, and the S6 remains sure to life. The color of the cup in the S6 shot resembles the actual color in real life. Dimming the lights a bit, the S6 seems to be doing better at maintaining white balance and less blurry images than the 6 Plus. The flash is also exceptionally great on the S6 on most objects. It's not too weak or too strong and it's nicely balanced except when you're taking pictures of white objects. For some reason, white objects like to absorb the flash from the S6 which in return overexposes the entire shot like you see here with the white flower and the miniature android figurine. So for low light performance on pictures, I'm gonna have to call it a tie since both cameras have their strengths and weaknesses. So the final verdict, I'm gonna have to give the win to the Galaxy S6. It is well deserved and I applaud Samsung for finally making a great smartphone camera to compete against the iPhone 6. The color contrast, dynamic range, the realism and the amount of sharpness and detail in the Galaxy S6 pictures are stunning and no doubt it has a phenomenal smooth video camera as well that takes stunning 4K video. The 6 Plus still dominates in low light and its flash is really hard to beat even till today. Well done Samsung. So that's it for the video. I really want to hear what your thoughts are on this. I'm sure there's a lot of you that disagree with me. And if you do, let me know by dropping a dislike on the video and leaving your feedback in the comment section down below. Those of you that agree with me, leave a like and feel free to share whatever is on your mind as well. I will be active in the comment section down below. If you want to see the Galaxy S6 go up against another phone, let me know by suggesting another phone in the comment section as well. And if you enjoy the camera comparisons like these, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because there's going to be a lot more coming. Anyways, thanks again for watching. This is Ed from TechSource and I'll see you guys in the next video.
So before I go, I wanted to share an awesome website with you guys. Sellcashier.com is a site where you can sell your iPhone for the highest dollar amount. They purchase iPhones from all major US carriers and currently only operate in the United States. They purchase all of these iPhone models that you see on this page from all the popular carriers, even unlocked phones. To get a quick quote, you just simply pick your iPhone model, carrier, size, and condition of your iPhone, and the quote will immediately display. If you like the quote, then you can just add it to your cart and check out. They will even send you a prepaid label and a box for free. You can also choose how you want to be paid. They can either send you a check or you can get paid directly from PayPal. So if you want to sell your iPhone, don't go anywhere else because Sell Cashier will give you the most cash for your iPhone. Also make sure to check out their website for updated prices. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.